Excel has many different chart types. You've heard of column charts, bar charts, line charts, and it's not always clear which chart type is going to work best for your data, but it's really easy to make a change. And so when you create a chart, and I'm about to do this with this data right here, I'll do it quickly with that shortcut, Alt F1. There's a chart. That's a clustered column chart, perhaps the most common chart type we see in Excel. But there are many others, and let's consider some options. When a chart is created, it's automatically selected. On the Design tab, Change Chart Type. There are some other kinds of column charts. Here's a stacked column chart. That's cleaner looking, you might say. By reading the height of it, we know the total. It's hard to read the individual colors, though, month to month. We got some other choices out here. Sometimes it's just the visuals that might get your attention, but is it easy to read? Not quite so easy but at least we've got some options. And maybe, rather than just looking at column charts, we start exploring some others. Now, we don't necessarily need to see all these. We know what we're trying to show here. Why not bar chart? There we go, that looks pretty good. It's the same idea, it's just rotated 90 degrees. And you might just have a personal favorite. Sometimes it's completely subjective. One thing I do recommend though, when you create a chart, is to use this button here called Switch Row Column. And the description doesn't quite give you any indication as to how it's really going to look. So click it anyway. Before we do it though, notice each cluster here of bars is about a furniture item and the colors differentiate the regions. Switch row column and now the colors are about the furniture item and the clusters are about the region. Go back and forth. Sometimes when you do this you say, well both of those are pretty attractive. Well you could have them both on the screen if you want. And if you do want to do that, chart selected, you can duplicate it with control D. D for duplicate and change one of them. We got that different clustering. And that works with column charts and line charts as well. Now, if you are dealing with data that covers a time frame, like the data here, a line chart tends to work best. I'm going to create this this time by going to the insert tab in the ribbon. And I know I want a line chart, so I could go right here, insert line. There it is. Fourth option tends to work best if you want to get markers. And there it is. And this indicates a trend month by month. When you see a line chart, nearly always across the bottom, you'll see some time frame. If you switch row column here, that's not so good at all. Usually with line charts, there's a clear favorite as you look at these. Now, the examples we've seen so far have not been dealing with a lot of data, and that's often the case. But farther down on the same worksheet is about a two and a half year list of sales here. Alt F1, column chart, that's not bad, we can make a case for that. But on the other hand, change chart type, make this be a line chart, I think this is gonna look better. Do be alert to this idea though, with line charts, if you make them wider and maybe not as tall, it tends to flatten out the data. And if you're trying to hide an increasing trend, well, that might be one way to do it. Now, without changing the source data whatsoever, I'm gonna make this be a lot taller and we get this effect. So be alert to that idea. You can change the meaning of a chart just by changing its size, particularly with a line chart. Also, when you're changing chart type and you do have time and you've got different kinds of data at different times, consider what an area chart might look like. Not a good choice here. Some of these other choices, what's a tree map chart? Would that work here? Well, it might. You might explore that a little bit, sunburst. So lots of different chart types. And the more you work with charts, the more you will change the chart type. There's so many different options and some data just looks better with one kind of a chart versus another kind. It's a feature that you can easily manipulate and work with as you work with charts.